So you rarely hear Turo content creators talking about anything other than Turo. It's Turo this and Turo that, all eggs in one basket. We rarely see anyone talking about exit strategies and what happens when you're done with Turo. A lot of Turo hosts also aren't responsible with the business funds and end up spending all the money, only to find out that they're underwater on all their car loans. Other hosts are happy to break even and get out with a lesson well learned. But I don't want you to become either of those kinds of hosts. I want us all to make a ton of money on Turo and park it somewhere else so that we can retire in five years. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you why you should consider diversifying out of Turo and exactly how to do it. The first step to diversifying out of Turo is by subscribing to the channel. I mean, think about it. You've heard how there's different routes in life, right? Like maybe if you made a left turn instead of a right turn, you'd end up a billionaire? The road not taken or whatever you call it? Well, I'm telling you right now that the billionaire path includes subscribing to my channel. So, I mean, you can choose the path or not, it's up to you. But with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So if you think back to all of the Turo content you've ever watched, I can tell you for sure that nobody has ever really described appreciation to you in detail. And to be honest, nobody probably ever will because of the amount of variables that go into it. That's why I like to call it the silent killer. You don't see depreciation on a day-to-day, month-to-month, or even sometimes year-to-year -year basis. You really only experience its true power when you go to sell your car. Turo gurus on the internet will show you their $50,000 months and try their best to make you believe it's all profit. That's simply untrue. When you boil out all the expenses, yes, Turo can be and is a great business. But let's consider what would happen if a few catastrophic things occurred. What if the used car market bubble really does pop and you lose 60% of your car's value in a week? That could be five, 10, 20, or maybe even 30 plus grand gone out the window instantly. You'd have to rent your car for a year or two just to make up for that loss. And to take it a step further, what if people just stop renting your cars? What if Turo as a whole were to collapse? Or if you make one mistake and get banned? No matter what, the bank is gonna come knocking at the first of the month. And that's why I'm gonna give you a powerful strategy today to diversify out of Turo. And to tell you the truth, I've already started to utilize it. So let's hop right in. This won't take long. So I already mentioned it earlier, but Turo can bring in tons of gross profit per month. You can easily start to stack up tens of thousands of dollars in your bank account by running a successful fleet of 10 to 20 cars. And with a stack of cash in your bank account, you can start to pursue other business ventures. The powerful strategy that I'm going to be talking about today is to build up enough money to purchase a rental property. You can choose to go the FHA route with this if you have a day job, but if Turo is your main gig, you will struggle securing an FHA loan from lack of income history. The more powerful and easy route is to get a conventional loan on an investment property in order to run it on Airbnb. Yes, it will require a larger down payment, usually between 15 and 20%, but you'll profit much more per month with short-term versus long-term rentals. And the great thing about it is that a lot of banks have conventional loans that will consider what the property can make instead of your own personal income. This means that as long as you have decent credit, have enough cash for the down payment and closing costs, and can explain that your 20 car loans are for your business, you should be able to secure a loan. This strategy will allow you to park your money in an appreciating asset. Because unlike cars that will almost always depreciate over time, real estate in a good market is always trending upwards. With the extra income from your Airbnb, you'll likely recover your cash stack super quick, and odds are you'll probably wanna start repeating this process instead of buying extra cars for your fleet. To state this strategy in simpler terms, let Turo be your cash cow that stacks up cash in your account, and then park that cash in real estate to start your second empire. I mean, seriously, take a couple hours to really consider the strength of this strategy. If you simply go onto the Airbnb website and type in your area, It'll let you know what you can expect to make with your own listing, and the numbers are pretty remarkable. I mean, five to 10K for one property? Imagine if you had 10 of them. If you consider the work that it takes to run an Airbnb, it's kind of like a rental car. You have to clean up after your last renter and make sure that your asset is well-maintained. The rest of the process is dealing with customer service, just like we do anyways. This is just one way that you can diversify out of Turo. But with that, we've made it to the end of the video. If you're interested in more ways to diversify out of Turo, definitely let me know in the comments below. And if you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified of future content. And until next time, take care everybody.